What's up, my name is Jay and the other day I was working on a project and the client told me like they want to change the download button um, only for iPhone users. Um, so they want to make sure that the iPhone users are getting a different message or the button will change. So I found detect.js to help me detect whatever version of iPhone or if it's an iPhone, if it's an Android, if it's a different browser. So if you scroll down here on their page, you will see an example here. So they're using the navigator user agent, but there is a lot of rejects going on in the background to detect all this. And you can see here browser family, for example, mobile Safari, um, a browser major number the four. Here on the device family iPhone, this is what I was looking for. I wanted to detect if it's an iPhone, specifically iPhone. Um, if you want to be make sure that it's an Android, you can do the same thing. You can use detect JS for that. So I'm gonna close this. And um, right now I have this website. It just says uh, download. So what I wanna do is change this button to says um, download mobile app if you're using an iPhone specifically. All right, so if you go to your phone and you go to this website, it's gonna say download mobile app instead of just download. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna add down here before closing my body, I'm gonna add um, JavaScript, so let's go script. And then the source, I already downloaded detect.min.js, um, so the link is in the description of the video. Go there, download, and then you put it here, okay? And after that, I'm gonna add my own script, my own JavaScript script. Put it here, uh, and this is the main JS. Right now it's empty, so if I go there, it's totally empty, there's nothing. But now that we have the library there, let's go ahead and start coding. So wanna create uh, variable, so const um, um, user agent UA. It doesn't have to be UA, you can use whatever you want. Equals to detect dot parse. And we're gonna parse the navigator dot user agent. All right, so now that we have that, first thing I wanna do, I wanna create another variable for my button. So const, I'm gonna call it button, something very simple. Document create selector, put it there. And I have a class, let me go back to my HTML. I have a class of download. All right, so download, that simple. I wanna make sure that the button is working. So let's console log that. Let's open the inspector and then the console. And there you go. We have the button right there. All right, let me remove that for now. So let's go ahead and test this. So let's go and console log of a UA device. Let's save it. And as you can see, it's null because right now this is a browser, it's not a device. But if I go ahead, let me go back to the page. Let's go get an example um, is browser, all right? Let's try browser, let's see what we get. All right, here we go. So we get more information, family Chrome, um, 84. So this is letting us know that it's working because I'm actually using Chrome, that's the version, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and close. And what I'm gonna do is write an if statement. I'm gonna go if, if UA.device, and we're gonna get the family, dot family, equals to iPhone, and this is a string, iPhone, just like this. The button text, I wanna change the button, dot text content is going to change to what is going to be download mobile app or whatever you want 
Um, this is a person that is using their iPhone. Okay. So let's save that and let's see what happens. Let me open here the console, making sure we're looking at this. Let's save it. All right, so we get an error, but let me show you what's happening on my phone. All right, so this is my phone. Let's change it to something else so you can see that changing app. There you go. So this is my iPhone, it's working. I can see the change, but we can get this error, which is everything's working, but you get this error and you need to make sure that it's not there. So um, all you have to do is make sure that you detect that it's not null and then you run this code. So all you have to do is another if statement. You say UA device is not equal to null. Then you put all that if statement inside there. So just like this. And now you're saying, okay, if it's not null, then run this. Let's save it. And boom, we don't have the error. Our um, iPhone, yeah, it's looking good. It says download mobile app. It's perfect. So now I know that maybe you're like, okay, so what else we can do? Remember, you can do whatever you want. You, we already detected the iPhone. Now, something else that I wanna do is changing the URL. Maybe you wanna go somewhere else. Um, and I think that's what we want. The download is gonna go somewhere else and the download mobile app is gonna go somewhere else. So all you have to do is button dot href equals to whatever you want. So let's say that the uh, one for the iPhone, I want people to go to my Twitter. So I'm gonna go HTTPS. Actually, let me just copy and paste it. I have it somewhere here. And then what I'm gonna do is save it. All right, go into my Twitter. Awesome, let's go back. Everything looks good. And now the da this download is just going to whatever I put in here. Let's change it. Let's go to, whoops. It seems like I click it here and it's, kind of connected with my Twitter. Let's change this to my um, YouTube, which is um, HTTPS, youtube.com slash I eat websites. All right, let's see if that works. Awesome, and now this is going to my YouTube. All right, so it seems like everything is working and I hope that helps. And remember, this is not only devices like iPhone, Androids, you can detect a browser. And I think it's very important. Sometimes you have projects that you want to maybe put a message. If you're using a specific browser, you know, like, hey, you need to update your browser or please use Chrome for this website because it's a better experience, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.